Hey guys, and welcome back to Shuffle. So, in the last episode, we were kind of rejected by Kaede. Um, and we went to Asa Senpai about it. So let's just jump right back in. I want to keep my promise with her though. That's my true feeling, and it's also the most important thing to me. It's a promise I made with her when we were kids. Maybe she doesn't remember. It's a promise between kids after all. Yet, I want to keep it because of my feelings towards her. And more than that, I need to keep it for myself. Hey, what is the reason why she didn't like you anyway? What? Her sudden words made my face freeze up. You know that too, don't you? Kaede joined the cooking club when she was in the second grade in junior high school. Her reason to join the club was very clear, to return a favor to you. She said that there was someone that she held a grudge against, and whom she hurt, but that she was still, or, but that she was there now because of him, that she wanted to return a favor. Seeing you two now, it's obvious who she was talking about. But, I think her feelings towards you are abnormal. They're too strong. Maybe when you hate someone so strongly, sometimes that can turn into an extreme love, I guess. Maybe more than extreme. To understand her feelings for you, I need to know what happened. Should I tell her? It was a lie. A lie that only kids would believe. Such a stupid lie that anyone would laugh. Should I tell her or not? I look at Asa-senpai while asking myself. Her face is smiling gently, but her eyes are serious. My parents and Kaede's mother died in an accident eight years ago. They were on a short trip, but Kaede became sick, so they were trying to get home. That's when the accident happened. Kaede and her mother were close, so she was in shock. I still remember the phone call from the hospital, and the pale face of Kaede's father on the phone. He told us to get ready, but without really knowing what he meant, we followed him. Then, we realized what was going on in the dark room. I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry forever until my tears ran out. But I couldn't, seeing Kaede cry next to me. I thought if I cried, Kaede would never stop crying. I had to protect her, I thought, so I smiled. I couldn't tell her the truth. Kaede really loved her mother. She didn't need anyone else. That's the kind of kid she was. How could I tell her that the accident happened while they were trying to get home because he became sick? I thought it would be the same as telling her that she killed them. Kaede couldn't eat anything for a while after that. She couldn't even talk. The doctor said it was almost like she was refusing to live. He was afraid that she might really die. It was sad to see her getting thinner and thinner every day just receiving ideas. Neither medication nor treatment could heal her. She needed a will to live. She needed a purpose to live, the doctor said. So I lied to her. I told her that I called them home. So in a way, I killed them. I thought that if hating me would heal her, it'd be worth it. I was thinking rather lightly. It's something only a kid would think of. But it worked. As you can imagine, Kaede got angry and she hated me. To hate me because her purpose, or to hate me became her purpose in life. Or to live, sorry. Though she really took her purpose to live seriously. She has pushed me down the stairs, and she has thrown a knife at me, too. I still have scars from those incidents. Do you want to see? No thanks. As my parents died, the Fleo family took care of me. Sorry guys, my eyes are hurting from crying. <laughs> Living with Kaede, her actions became really serious. If her dad hadn't protected me, I don't think I'd be alive now. She cooked meals every day, so 
I guess I'm lucky that she didn't poison me. To look back like this, Kaede was really extreme and strong-willed. It was a stupid lie. Only innocent kids would believe such a lie. But Kaede fell for it, right? She was just a kid. As we, or as she got older, she found out the truth on her own. Was she in junior high? She cried and apologized. I felt bad. That's when she started to serve me. I see. And she fell in love with the guy who protected her while sacrificing himself. I can't laugh because it's just like someone I know. Someone you know? Yup, someone. Talking from her experience, Kaede truly loves you. But she's afraid. She's blaming herself. Asa Senpai smiles at me gently as she speaks. Can you forgive her? Forgive her? If you can, then it's all up to you. If there's something you want to protect, then why don't you? It's up to me, huh? Can I forgive her or not? Do I have something to protect or not? I don't even need to think. I can answer right away. The girl I've been with since I was little. The girl who's been the closest to me. And the one whom I want to be with always. I've seen her smile, her tears, her surprise. I've seen it all. She's seen me smile, my tears, my surprise. She's seen it all. Then, the promise we made when we were kids. My mind is already made up. At that moment, a determination comes to me. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to get more into her backstory. No! Fireworks! Kaede tilts her... Yeah, tilts her head after hearing my suggestion. Yes, it's kind of late for the season, but it's still summer on the calendar. We've never done that this year. We should finish this summer with them. As I say that, I put a set of small fireworks and some sky rockets I just bought on the table. You're right! We should try that since summer is almost over. I've been through so much this summer! Kaede looks at the fireworks and smiles. Okay, we'll do this after dinner. I guess fireworks in summer uh, mesmerize people. Kaede trots out of the room joyously. I see her going just silently. It's so cute! Oh my god, that picture! It's beautiful! Kaede indulges in the firework. The firework glitters in seven colors in her hand. Those flickering lights make us feel surreal. I like big fireworks at festivals, but these small ones we do on our own or in our own garden are nice too. It makes me feel more sentimental about summer's end because of its sub subtlety. Bleh. This view is exactly the same as that day. We've grown up. We no longer see the people from those days. Despite those differences, uh, this view looks exactly like that day. Hey, Kaede. Yes? We're together as promised, right? What? She looks startled. I'm glad at her reaction because it means she remembered the promise. I continue holding my excitement within. This is just like that day. The summer night we promised in this place. You remembered it? How could I forget that important promise? I smile. When we both were small, in the Fulio family's garden, with the lights shining in seven colors, we promised. I thought you'd forgotten it. Kaede mutters while looking stiff and surprised. I thought you'd forgot it because you suffered very much. It's actually the opposite. I'm here because we made that promise. 
I thought you'd forget it. I'd never forget. I could never forget. She shakes her head. Her voice is shaking, but it has strength. For me, that promise was the last bridge. I couldn't forgive myself. I thought I should never be close to you, and I thought of giving up many times. But because of that promise, I've been lying to myself to keep that promise. To be with you. That promise was my last excuse to be with you. I can feel her feelings through her words. I'll never let her go. I want to hold her strongly in my arms. I should honestly tell her my feelings as well. I've been keeping this promise until now, and I want to keep this promise after this day. I want to be with you forever. I want to accept you, and I want you to accept me. Am I not good enough? Kaede looks down. After a little bit of hesitation, she opens her mouth. I couldn't forgive myself! Oh no... I hated you very much without thinking. It's easy to say that I was just a child, but I can't deny what I'd been doing. You were sacrificing yourself for me, and I'd been rejecting you for no reason. But you understood me later. Even though I didn't say anything, you understood me. Kaede shakes her head with a self-scorning smile. I love you. That's why I wanted to take care of you, and I've been doing so. And I want to continue that if you want. But I realized, even though my feelings towards you are real, I have another thought in the back of my head. I wanted to forgive myself by serving you. If I loved you, and you loved me, I thought I could forgive myself. I was using my feelings and your feelings for my own ego. I wanted you to love me so I could forgive myself. I couldn't stand that. Maybe she's punishing herself that way. She's punishing herself immature, her immaturity and herself. Since nobody has forgiven her yet, she can't forgive herself. This is Kaede's punishment for herself. That's why I thought I shouldn't be loved by you. That's why I tried not to be loved even though I loved you. Otherwise, I thought I couldn't be with you. I made that borderline because I always wanted to be with you. Because I stole you, and I couldn't believe. Oh, for me. Kaede sheds tears endlessly and runs to me. I hold her thin body tightly. I hold her tight so that she can tell the borderline isn't necessary. I couldn't want you anymore because of that. I'm scared to be rejected by you. I never want you to reject me. I wanted you to see me. I wanted you to think that I was necessary. She is crying. Probably, she's been crying since her childhood. Since she lost her loving mother, since the friction between me, and since she realized her true emotion, she's been crying. She's been crying with a smiling face, and it tore her heart apart. She confesses everything while exposing her deep wound with tears. Oh my goodness, my nose is so runny right now. <laughs> she looks at me with tearful eyes. I can see her anxiety and fear. Will you forgive me? I just smile gently. Naturally, I just smile. You never learn. All the things you've done, I send her back my feelings. I've forgiven all of them long, a uh, long time ago. Why don't we make that promise again? same promise we made that day. Yes! Yes! Oh, they're so cute! So many screenshots! Ah, I'm so happy! We kept the promise since the time we made it, with neither of us forgetting. And so, we smile at each other one more time, in the same place 
while doing the same thing with the same words we used. We renew that promise. Will you stay with me forever? Please, stay with me forever! Oh, they're so cute! Epilogue. Oh, we're already at the end? Jesus Christ, this was short. Kaede, what's taking so long? Uh, sorry, please give me one more- Oh, I think that was supposed to be her. Whoops. I hear her rushed voice from inside the house, and then Kaede finally shows up. I'm sorry, I found it at last! I think it's fun to return a CD uh, without the content in the case. I'm sorry, I was listening to it last night and forgot it in the boombox. Well, you're always lazy about yourself. I smirk and start walking. Kaede follows me with a flushed face. Okay, as long as I'm careful about you. Aww. Since that day, our lives haven't changed drastically. We didn't have to change. We must have wanted and needed each other from the beginning. If truly wanting each other means love, we were already in love. We spend time as usual because that's what we want. Rancoon, do I have something on my face? No. I just thought I'm really used to looking at your face. <laughs> I'm used to looking at your face too. I'm almost fed up. Are you fed up? No way. Even if I got fed up with the taste of rice, I wouldn't get fed up with your face. I strongly concur. So, nothing will change forever. Good morning, you two. Mayumi-chan, good morning! Oh, I'm surprised to see you. You're usually in school already this hour. I stayed up late watching TV. The phony adventure show is always hilarious. Oh, I was watching that one too. I even watched a movie after that until dawn. How could you wake up if... Oh, you have a perfect wife, no wonder! Yeah, I couldn't have done it without Kaede. It must be tough for you, though. Not at all. I'm happy he relies on me. Oh, well. I thought something... I thought something could have changed after that incident. But nothing seems to have changed. Mayumi sighs, but Kaede continues. Something did change. Eh? Rincoon? What? Oh! Look at Asa Senpai's face! <laughs> but Ivsky, oh my god. <laughs> good, good. This is good. <laughs> the moment I turn around to her, she kisses me with her soft and warm lips. Oh my! I can no longer hear anything, and everybody is watching. Kaede and I become one in the middle of everything. Slowly, Kaede pulls her face away, and then, I love you, she smiles brightly. It seems our lives have certainly changed. We can express our feelings freely instead of just thinking of the other. We can express our love clearly now. It makes me feel that the past relationship has faded away. Yeah, uh, whoops, yeah, this isn't too bad. I put my hands on her shoulders. Can you kiss me in return? I kiss her before I think of what to say. In the middle of jeers and teasing, we stay connected. We keep our promise from childhood and our promise for the future. We keep the promise intact, with a few little changes for the better. Oh my goodness, that was so cute. Oh. I'm so happy. You guys have no idea how happy I am. Oh, I cried a lot. I'm sorry, though. But, yes. This is actually pretty short. Like, the, uh... Um... <laughs> the roots are actually really short compared to what I thought they would be from the anime. But, you know, that's okay. Huh. <sighs>
So, hopefully, uh, we, uh, actually, I don't know who I want to go for next. I'm not quite sure. Maybe also senpai because that's what I was trying to go for originally this time. But obviously that didn't happen. So, uh, <laughs> I suppose let's try for Asa Senpai next time, right? Yeah. I think that would be a good idea. So, <sighs> all of these cute pictures. They are so adorable! I'm taking so many screenshots, you have no idea, guys. <laughs> I mean, you will have an idea once I post them. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I'm basically, like, playing the game of trying to get the screenshot before the arrows come across. Eh, I don't want that. <laughs> I just want the girls, sorry. <laughs> Yikes. No! <laughs> Stop scarring everybody, God! <laughs> oh my god. My nose is still runny from crying. Oh, hi, Itsuki. Nobody wants to see you, either. You're a douchebag. You are just a big bag of dicks. Nah, Kareha is so adorable. I wish that we could date Mayumi. I don't know if we can, actually. I should look that up. See if we can date Mayumi. Because I think she would be a cute, or like, I think her root might be pretty cute, to be honest. <gasps> it's Asa's mom! We didn't get to meet her this time, but yeah, we'll meet her next time. It's okay. That that was Asa Chan's mother. Ugh. And sorry guys, I'm probably going to have to uh mute the music because of copyright. <laughs> but hey, we can still watch, right? That's why I'm talking a lot. And sorry for the weird groan. I was just stretching. <laughs> but no, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I hope that you're really excited for Asa's uh, route next time. I really hope that you're excited, because I sure am. I am very excited for this. Because I don't know if I've said this before, but Asa is my favorite character in this entire series. Because of her backstory, and of how she is, and the ending, and just everything about her is amazing. I love her so much. <laughs> I think a big reason why I might like her so much is because she reminds me of myself. Not to sound egotistical or anything, but I do think that is a big reason why I like her so much. But that is it. That was the end of Kaede's Root. So, thank you all so much for watching. We will be doing Asa Shigure's uh, Root next time. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!